Ziggy, come on. Walking in the mornings, first thing, fresh air, every day the same walk, watching the colours, listening to the sounds, seeing how things change on a day-to-day -day basis throughout the seasons. It's great inspiration for people who then go back and work in a shed painting. grandmother was a, an artist and um, a maker herself so we did things every Saturday morning. I stayed with her every Friday night and every Saturday morning we made things like elaborate things from clothing to pieces of wall art and that's what I thought that everybody did on a Saturday morning. Just thought that was completely normal and to us it was normal and she just must have taught me a whole load of skills but what she did teach me really was most important is if I saw something or I had an idea in my head she would find a way of making it happen. So she, well, even if she didn't have the skills, she would teach herself or she would um, find another way of making things. And I think that's the way I've been with my creativity. So I have an idea in my head and then I have to work out how to make it. The ideas are there all the time. Sometimes I can't sleep for ideas, you know, I'll pop, I'll pop into my dreams and I'll be waking up and I'll be like, oh, I've got to get that down, I've got to write it down, I've got to draw it, I've got to do something about it. And the silk's been in an industrial steamer for four and a half hours, which means that it's, it's colour fast. And that's when you can tell the difference between a handmade and a, and a machine made shade. The, neat, the finish is always better on a handmade. This year is the hexagon. Right, and then we're done. It's one I made earlier. <laughs> the Irish buyers are very special in that way when it comes to craft. That's what they want is the story. They understand that I make things, like even if they don't realize it's, um, I think deep down they know that I'm connected to my environment and they like that because they feel connected as well. I need physical space to work. I need to be, I've always been a very outdoors person. I always thought I would end up in an outdoors job. So I think that that's what fires up my design and, and Donegal's the most beautiful place to do it in, so <laughs> it's a win-win. Mm -hmm.